studying is an investment in your own future. Many students only realize what this actually means when they are in the middle of their studies, they suddenly have to pay for rent, books, semester fees and food themselves. That's why it's all the more important that you start thinking about financing your studies early on. In this video, we give you the best tips on how to finance your studies. So be sure to watch it all the way to the end. Number 1. Support from the parents. According to the law, parents are obliged to finance their children's first education. The amount of maintenance is based on the parent's economic capacity. This means that they must have enough to live on themselves, as there are allowances for this. The need for a student who does not live with his parents is set at about 735 euros. Parents also continue to receive child benefits for their children, provided they are not older than 25. Number 2. Student Jobs Many students have to or would like to earn money in addition to their studies with a part-time job. As long as you don't earn more than 450 euros in your job, this form of financing your studies can be combined well with other sources of money, such as BAFOG. The selection of student jobs is large, whether in the office, in the catering trade or in retail, you will always find what you are looking for. Number 3. Study Financing with Scholarships Many students do not dare to write an application for a scholarship. They think their chances are slim because they believe that scholarships are only available to students with straight A's or gifted students. But this is wrong. There are many foundations that support other candidates as well. So it's worth your while to invest time here and get an overview of the different programs. And number 4. Contact the bank. If you have exhausted all other financing options and still don't have enough money together, you can turn to your bank. However, this step carries risks. At first glance, the selection of loan offers for students seems opaque, and at the end of your studies you will also have debts. Unlike a normal loan, a student loan is paid out in monthly installments. However, the entire amount borrowed, plus interest, must be repaid later. Now, if you still want to know how to live on a shoestring budget, check out the video we're linking you to here. There we give you 10 incredible money-saving tips that can make your life as a student much easier. If you liked the video then I would be really happy about a thumbs up. And don't forget to subscribe to this channel and activate the bell so you don't miss any new video.